Apple Watch training involves changing Apple's complete retail strategy. Samsung surprises us with more Lollipop updates ahead of the Galaxy S6. And Apple seems to be ready to reinvent the smartphone camera with the next iPhone. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, yeah, after yesterday's hangover, Tuesday seems much better, even though it's not Friday. This is Pocket Out Daily, brought to you by Lynda.com. The official news today are kind of a shocker. Samsung has never been famous for updating its uh, old smartphones before they launch new ones, such as the case of the Galaxy Note lineup, but the company has just uh, pretty much launched the Android 5.0 Lollipop update for the Galaxy Note 4 on AT&T. Uh, hopefully it'll be available to you today. We still haven't been able to verify it on our review unit, and no, my Galaxy Note Edge has not received it on AT&T yet, but yeah, we are still days away from the Galaxy S6, and it's cool to see that we are getting updates. Now, a company that's not really enjoying very much uh, high publicity when it comes to newer versions of its operating system is Microsoft and Windows 10 for mobile. Uh, there was a lot of fanfare for the whole preview of Windows 10 for mobile uh, the first couple of months, but uh, sadly, there are some statistics that prove that uh, the install base of Windows 10 has dropped from 0.2% to just 0.1% this month because people are losing interest. And if you ask me why, number one, has to do with the phones that are supported. Number two, it has to do with how bad it is. Uh, Microsoft needs to fix a lot of it. And well, that's the point of a preview, right? Now let's move the spotlight over to Oppo as, um, yeah, the company innovated with the Oppo R5 with uh, bringing us the thinnest smartphone in the world, but uh, that wasn't it. We've got some leaks of the Oppo R7 already since they seem to want to jump two numbers with every new version. And uh, hey, there are no bezels on this display. It is a true shocker and hopefully it is real. We'll keep you posted as uh, we might see a launch soon. Apple is up next as uh, we've got some leaked documents that talk about the company's whole retail strategy for the Apple Watch and all the trainings that the company's employees will receive in the next couple of weeks. And they're changing everything. I mean, hey, in the past, it was uh, regular for you to just be a geek like you and me and become an Apple Store employee and just help people sell computers, smartphones, and a couple of other gadgets. But now things are going to change. These people are learning techniques on how to sell luxury products and, uh, man, and the list is vast as to everything they'll do to help people choose the right Apple Watch, up to the point of not talking about price tags. Really interesting. Link to the description. Read the full thing because there are a lot of changes as to how Apple plans to sell things going forward. And yeah, it does prove that they did hire a lot of people from the fashion business for a reason. And finally, for the very hot news of the day, Apple has just been granted a new patent that was filed back in 2011 over how to bring not only optical image stabilization to its next iPhone, but even optical zoom without uh, making the phone bulkier. It's a whole different ball game here. We're talking about an L-shaped sensor here. Uh, the light will enter the same way it enters uh, any current iPhone camera or smartphone camera for that matter, but uh, then the whole module is L-shaped, meaning the sensor is not really facing the lens. It's actually on the side in a way that creates sort of like a periscope design that allows not only optical image stabilization through the lens, but uh, also the fact that, yeah, you can have some sort of zoom here. Now, uh, Apple is famous for not really launching all of its patents, but this one makes a lot of sense. We just wonder if it will be able to implement it. iPhone cameras have been famous ever since the iPhone 4, but it leads me to the question of the day. What is your current smartphone and are you satisfied with the camera quality? In my case, guys, I am testing the Galaxy Note Edge, and it's probably one of the best smartphone cameras I've ever tested. Hence, I'm the guy that also tested the Lumia 930. Uh, leave us a comment down below. I'd love to know what you think. And folks, if you've ever wanted to become a pro in Adobe tools or learn web design or, hey, even build a cool video like this one, there are thousands of awesome courses at our sponsor, lynda.com slash pocket now. That's L-Y-N-D-A dot com slash pocket now for a free 10-day trial. You also know the drill if you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed. Make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.